Hey guys, welcome to the 112th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own XML file using C Sharp. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a button, a name text box, an age and merit up down, and an email text box. So once you have all these on your form, just go ahead and double click on your create file button. The first thing that we're going to have to do is create a new instance of the XML text writer class. So we're just going to say XML text writer. I'll call it text writer and just set it equal to a new instance of the XML text writer class. Uh, the first thing that it calls for as a parameter is a path to the file that we want to create. And this does include the name of the file that we want to create, just like when you're uh, creating like other types of files using the stream writer class. So, um, I already have it all copied off, but you can use the save file dialog here if you want, but I don't really think it's necessary. Uh, so just uh, have the folder that it's going to be in. Mine's going to be a test folder, and then the name of the file that you want to create. Mine's going to be called xdoc1.xml. The second parameter that it calls for is a type of encoding. So just put encoding.utf8. It's just a type of encoding for text. You don't really need to know what it is right now. So the first thing we're going to have to do is write a start element. So we're going to do write start uh, element. And what the start start element means is, well, in our XML document, we had like the person node or the people node, and that would be our start element. So we're just going to put people right there. The next thing that we're going to want to do is write another start element. We're going to want to write our person element. So we're going to say xwriter dot write start element again. We're going to be writing the person one. So we're going to write here person. And again, we're going to want to write another start element, and that is going to be for the person's name. So we're going to write start element, and then we're just going to put name inside here. All right. So now, in order to have the inner text for this uh, node, we're going to want to do the write string. Uh, method. So we're going to do xwriter dot write write string, and we're just going to run a write the name that the user puts in this text box. So this text box wants text. All right, and then we're going to want to write the end element. So this is basically going to be writing um, name. This will be writing uh, well text box wants text. So let's put text box one dot text here and then the right end element right end element will be writing the end element so we'll be writing name so it'll just be closing off up this uh, node right here so basically it's just writing a, a new node called name so now we're going to want to write the end element for person so the start element is basically just Person, we're going to want to write the end element for that. X writer dot write end element. So basically, it's just writing this, the end of this, and then we're going to have to write the end element for people. And I'm not going to comment that out. I'm pretty sure you know what this means by now. So write end element. So yeah. So now what we have to do is we just have to close the writer so that. If we were to read this or something, which we're not going to, then um, we wouldn't get an error saying we'll use by another process. Or if we try to open the file when the uh, uh, program's still running, we get an error. So right here, we're just going to enter someone's name. I'll just enter Adam. Click Create File, and it should create an XML file. Yeah, perfect. But this formatting here, like we can't see it. So what you can do is right here and change the formatting to, I forget what it's called, but uh, formatting equals formatting dot indented. Yeah, so this just makes it look a lot better and now you can actually read it. And this is just how we wrote it before. So if we now create the file and open it. Yeah, now it's much easier to read. It's not all on one line. And if we wanted to create more nodes inside of here, such as for their age and email, we could do that very easily. So all we'd have to do really is copy this um, 
the writing the name node. We'll just we'll recopy this twice because we'll be writing age and we'll be writing email. So we'll just do for the email, it'll be text box three's text, and the age will be the numeric up downs value. So numeric up downs. Numeric up numeric up down one dot value and then we're just going to have to convert that into a string because it's represented as an integer. So now we should just pretty much be writing uh, a new XML file with uh, things for a person such as their age, email, and name all stored in this XML document. So we create Adam uh, 15, set the email to Adam x at gmail.com. Alright, create the file. Perfect. Wrote the name, the age, and the email. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on writing your own XML file. So, see you guys.